Today, I wanted to show that it's possible to run macOS on a Chromebook. <clears throat> this is a Dell 5400 Chromebook, which I first installed uh, Linux onto. I'll put in the description uh, what I sort of did, just a brief outline. But I was able to install Linux X Ubuntu, which is this what I'm running right now. After installing it, I was able to install Oracle VM VirtualBox. And from there, I downloaded a ISO file for macOS. And here I have it. Uh, I put 10 gigabytes of RAM as the base memory and four processors. Uh, let me go ahead and try to run it right now. It's actually a little... Uh, wasn't too straightforward, but uh, I'll provide the link of uh, what um, guideline I use to install. This is a version, I think, 11. We'll see once it boots up. In terms of performance, it is a little, what do you call it? It's usable, but uh, if I were to run m multiple apps, I, even now I can notice a lag. So it finally booted. It's doing its thing. Open Apple. Let's really let it finish. Let me verify for you. It's running 11.7. So, again, I was able to install it. Um, It's not too bad, it runs decent speed. It's not super fast, but it's usable. You can see I'm scrolling down. Let me do another tab, file new tab. watch a video on there. So I just wanted to show that it's possible to install, what do you call it, Mac OS through a virtual machine on a Chromebook after you've installed Linux onto it. Um, I'm sure you could try to install it directly if you installed the custom boot firmware, but this is running RW Legacy using uh, Mr. Chromebox's uh, firmware utility. Uh, wish I could skip this. Let's go back. Let's see, it's the video is running right now and I'm able to skip pretty easily. Sorry, no sound on right now. Uh, open a note section to write a note. Taking a while. No, I don't mean to do that. Typing test. Everything is working fine. I don't really have that many apps installed, but 
Um, what I can do is I can show you Google Chrome. Show me installing Google Chrome. And so let me just finish doing that to show you the speed at which things are running. As you can see, download happened pretty quickly. I think I have Handbrake on here. I was running a test. Uh, don't check. And I was actually trying to encode one of these videos. Surprisingly, this is a 2019 Chromebook. Uh, I, I encoded this video uh, versus uh, my actual 2013 MacBook Pro, and this was actually quicker than my, but again, obviously this is a newer computer than the 2013 MacBook Pro. So I had this running, I can overwrite. So I was just encoding this video. Uh, what can I do? I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh, I was trying to do, before I got distracted, I was trying to install Chrome. Gosh, go do that. And then we'll call it a day. So again, I'm running this virtual machine off of Linux. And sorry, it's taking a while to install Chrome. Try and drop in Chrome. Should be inside applications now. I don't know why it has an X on there. Oh, it's still downloading. You see the status bar. Once it's done, I'll boot it up. Try opening maps. Nope, you don't need to know my current location. Sorry, I got sidetracked trying to do those other things. Uh, Chromebook finished. Let me boot up Chrome. You can see multitasking isn't super awesome. But things are definitely usable on here. Ta-da! So it wasn't too. It's not too bad. There's some lag, but it's usable. So that's it. Hopefully that was enjoyable, but mainly just to show that it is possible to install, what's it called? Chrome OS, and not Chrome OS, Mac OS. And this is OS 11, Big Sur. From a virtual machine on Oracle VM through 
VirtualBox through Linux from Linux. Hopefully, hopefully you found that a little interesting. Over and out. Let me turn this off.